Starting off the list, at number 10 we have Muhammad VI. There are some people in this list who aren't actually presidents but are still the ones in charge of the state nonetheless, and King Muhammad VI is one of them. After his father, King Hassan II of Morocco, passed away, his son, Mohammed VI, ascended to the throne. Mohammed has accumulated a fortune of over $2 billion through his ownership stakes in businesses across multiple Moroccan economic sectors. Forbes ranks Mohammed as the sixth wealthiest royal in the world and the richest king in Africa. His palace is reported to cost roughly $1 million per day to operate. Then at number 9 we have Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. As the leader and president of Qatar, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa bin Hamad bin Abdullah bin Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani held many titles. His son, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, is the current emir of Qatar after his father, also named Hamad, abdicated in 2013. Under his leadership, Qatar's natural gas output increased to 77 million tons, making it the world's wealthiest country in terms of GDP per capita. Each citizen now earns more than $80,000 per year on average. In a bloodless palace coup dead at in 1995, Hamad bin Khalifa ascended to the throne. Hamad is one of the wealthiest heads of state in the world, with an estimated $2.5 billion in assets. Moving on to number 8 we have Pinra Sebastian. Chile has Miguel Juan Sebastian Piera at Chinico MCH as its president from 2010 to 2014, and again from 2018 to 2022. He has a successful business career and is among the wealthiest people in Chile. To my knowledge, Sebastian is the first democratically elected conservative president since 1958. He is among the top 10 wealthiest presidents in the world in 2023, with a net worth of roughly $2 billion. Then at number 7, the one and only Kim Jong-un. Since 2011, Kim Jong-un has held the position of supreme leader in North Korea, and since 2012, he has also led the Workers' Party of Korea. From the country's inception in 1948, his grandfather Kim Il-sung served as the first and current supreme leader of North Korea. His father, Kim Jong-il, served as the country's second supreme leader. Kim Jong-un, like his grandfather and father before him, has ruled North Korea with an iron fist. According to the International Business Times, Kim has a number of extravagant properties in North Korea, including 17 palaces, 100 high-end vehicles, a private plane, and a yacht of 100 feet in length. Moving on at number 6 we have Silvio Berlusconi. From 1994 to 1995, from 2001 to 2006, and again from 2008 to 2011, Silvio Berlusconi served as Prime Minister of Italy in four separate governments. Since Italian unification, he is the third longest serving Prime Minister overall, and he led the country for a total of nine years. He is currently the richest man in Italy, and his holdings span television, newspapers, publishing, film, banking, insurance, and even sports. Since 2019, Silvio has also served as a representative for Italy in the European Parliament. In 2012, Berlusconi was estimated to have had a net worth of $5.9 billion, making him the sixth wealthiest person in Italy. His current wealth is estimated to be around $7.1 billion. Then we have Hans Adam II at number 5. Prince Franz Joseph II's son, Hans Adam II, holds the titles of Prince of Liechtenstein, Duke of Trapau and Jägerndorf, and Count of Rietberg. He has more money than any other European king and is one of the world's wealthiest heads of state. Hans Adam's personal wealth is $4 billion, while his family's wealth is over $7 billion. The Bloomberg Billionaires Index predicts that his wealth will be around $8 billion in 2023. In addition to being the owner of the banking conglomerate LGT, he ranks as the world's 453rd richest person. The majority of Hans Adam II's art collection is on view at the Liechtenstein Museum in Vienna. On number 4 we have Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Vice President, Prime Minister, and Minister of Defense of Dubai is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the third son of Sheikh Rashid bin Seed Al Maktoum. Until his brother Maktoum's death in 2006, Mohammed was the Vice President and ruler of the country. Under Mohammed bin Rashid's leadership, Dubai's economy has flourished, and he has amassed a vast fortune through his companies, Dubai World and Dubai Holding. Mohammed has a net worth of about $14 billion in 2023, the majority of which was earned through real estate investments. Moving on to the third, we have Al Nahyan bin Khalifa bin Zayd. From November 2004 until his death in May 2022, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayd bin Sultan Al Nahyan served as President of the United Arab Emirates. Khalifa oversaw the expansion of the UAE's non-oil economy, which helped the country become a regional economic powerhouse. In 2018, Forbes included him on their list of the 100 most powerful people in the world. Previously known as Burj Dubai, the world's tallest man-made structure was renamed the Burj Khalifa in January 2010 to honor Khalifa. Khalifa is not only President of the United Arab Emirates, but also the ruler of Abu Dhabi. At our second-last position, we have Hassan al Bolkaya. Brunei's Sultan and Yangdi Pertuan, Hassan al Bolkaya, has ruled the country since 1967. Since Brunei's independence from the United Kingdom in 1984, he has also served as the country's Prime Minister. After his father abdicated on October 5, 1967, Hassan al Bolkaya, the eldest son 
grandson of Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin III, became Sultan. He has the second longest reigning monarchy in the world after Queen Elizabeth II. With a fortune of $30 billion, the Sultan is among the world's wealthiest people. The Sultan of Brunei possesses the largest collection of luxury vehicles in the world, including 380 Bentleys, 450 Ferraris, and 600 Rolls Royces. And lastly at number one we have the one and only Vladimir Putin. Russian President Vladimir Putin is widely considered the wealthiest head of state in the world. Some sources estimate Vladimir Putin's wealth at $40 billion, while others put it at over $200 billion. Putin has a $1.4 billion Black Sea home, 19 additional residences, 700 cars, 58 aircraft and helicopters, and a luxury watch collection. Yet only an 800-square-foot apartment, a trailer, and three cars are listed as publicly owned assets on his website. Putin has been Russia's president twice, from 2000 to 2008 and now since 2012. Over the course of 16 years, Putin served as a KGB foreign intelligence officer, eventually reaching the rank of lieutenant colonel. In 1991, he left to enter St. Petersburg's political scene. He reportedly takes home $140,000 a year. And that's all for today's list of the top 10 richest presidents in the world. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updated videos.